All right, we actually have a very special guest for your next comic. Let's get a round of applause going for him right now. Keep that applause going for Blake Dixon. All right, give it up for your host, everyone. He looks, he looks like the turtle I tried to rescue outside, but um, he's adorable. We love him. All right, we having fun so far, huh? Yeah, all right. I hear a lot from non-white people. They say things like, well, I did something white the other day, but you don't hear from a white guy like me, uh, I did something bla black yesterday. Put my driver's seat all the way back. <laughs> if you didn't laugh, you don't know black people, man. <laughs> That's a phenomenon that I can't get a hold of. They can drive laying down. <laughs> I don't understand it, but, you know, gotta love it. Um, watch a lot of anime. Um, no one really likes that about me, but hey. Uh, <laughs> um, I noticed a lot in like anime and cartoons how like the food looks way better than real food. It looks incredible. And it's the same thing with pussy. Like, dude, I had no idea it looks way better when it's hand-drawn by a Japanese man. <laughs> I mean, good God, it's incredible! Y'all need to get on this shit, dude. It's, it's life-changing. All right, let's get out of this filth area I'm in. Um, I met my nephew for the first time a couple weeks ago. Uh, he's four months old, which is a, it's fun to meet them when they're young and babies, and you can watch them grow up. But... Like, I was holding this kid, and I was really high. <laughs> really high, and that's naturally what you do when you hold a baby. So you get really high. And, uh, and he puked on me. He, he puked on me, and I, I was high, so I was thinking too much. And I was like, wait a second. And I looked at it, and I was like, this is, this is breast milk <laughs> from my sister. What the fuck? <laughs> and then I thought even more, and I was like, wait, I was holding this guy. I was holding him, and I was like, wait, this kid came out of my sister <laughs> and her pussy nonetheless. <laughs> and that fucked me up internally. Like, I was holding him, and I was like, what? Why am I allowed to hold something that came out of my sister's vagina? Why would I want to hold that? This is a life I deal with. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um. <laughs> Man. Uh, but he, he can sleep really good, like, which is different from me. I, can't, I could never fall asleep right as a kid. And I'd ask my mom to put on a World War II in HD and then run the dryer. That was how I fell asleep, man. And uh, I don't know why I wanted that. Like, I guess the sound of like the soldiers getting shot and exploding was better than the sound of the sexual warfare between my parents. <laughs> Worst part about it, y'all, is my dad, he lasts a long time. <laughs> he withstands the dryer cycle. And I hate to break it to you, but that is not hereditary. <laughs> so I'm out here sprinting, dude, while he's, he's, he's on the marathon. Um, my, mom, my mom, she's sweet, but she doesn't know how to execute it. Like, in preschool, I had these two black friends. They were named Mohammed and Odell. And she thought it would be adorable to call us the Oreo cookie. <laughs> like, it's creative, mom, but that is racist can't do that. And like, she also like forced me to hang out with this kid solely because he had two dads. Literally the only reason. And I don't know why she felt so bad for him. Like two gay dads, it's better than what I had. One gay dad and one oblivious mother. <laughs> Someone's gotta tell her dad doesn't like tennis. Why is he taking tennis lessons? All right, folks, that's my time. Thank you very much.
Blake Dixon, keep it going for him. 